Hey guys, I'm Dory from Hollywood Life, and I'm here with Julia from Misadvised, a new show on Bravo. Can you tell me a little bit about your background? Yes, I am a journalist, and I actually write a column for Elle.com called The Guinea Pig of Love, where I do love experiments, trying to figure out what is wrong with me that I can't have a healthy relationship. At a certain point, I decided, you know what, the common denominator is me. So I have this, a background in, in writing dating columns. I was the editor-at-large for Star Magazine, talking about celebrity relationships. And um, I thought it was time to figure out my own. Who do you think has a great relationship in Hollywood? But why do you think the divorce rate is so high, even in Hollywood and with mm. regular people? I mean, what is the key to having a long-lasting marriage? I think the real reason is that people focus on what makes them happy in the moment. What's a great fling? What's a great boyfriend? What's great sex? All those things are lovely. They're wonderful. You should try them. That is not necessarily the same thing that as what makes a great life partner. And um, I have this 73 point checklist that um, is very easy to make fun of that we talk about on, on Misadvised. And um, I could have thrown it out and said, well, it is ridiculous that I have 73 point checklist. But really what I was doing is sitting down and being very thoughtful and very conscientious mm -hmm. about what are the qualities I need in a partner. And some of these qualities are honesty, kindness, unconditional love, um, the ability to grow and the desire to grow. Because you can't necessarily go on a date and say, well, oh, you're it, you're it, you're it. Yeah. Who are you gonna be in three years? Five years, 10 years, 20 years when you have kids, when you, you know, you're a different person. They better be growing with you. If they're not interested in doing that, what do you think is gonna happen to that relationship? So Emily, you do a kissing scene. What do I you do. think makes a good kiss? A good kiss, I think, has a lot to do with chemistry and a lot to do with the way you guys move together. I mean, a good kisser to me could be a bad kisser to you. Right. So I think it really has to do with um, your energies together. But I have to say there are ways you can, people think if they have a bad kiss that it's over. And there are ways that you can improve your kissing, which is why I taught a kissing workshop. Um, if you want to kiss, if you love your partner, everything's great, but the kissing is bad. Say, I'm going to show you how I want to be kissed. And then you show me how you want to be kissed. And then you kind of make this amalgamation of your kiss scenes. It'll okay. kick and improve. Interesting. Yeah. So what is a dating deal breaker for you? A dating deal breaker is, um, I think, someone who's, first thing that came to my mind was someone who's cheap. Okay. And I'm not saying they have to have tons of money. I don't care. You can be broke, but you can also be cheap. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, you can, be, you can have all the money in the world and you can be cheap, or you can be broke. It doesn't matter. I'm just saying someone who isn't generous. Okay. Like, in that way. Like, who just, like, you owe me two set dollars and 62 cents for your coffee or whatever. <laughs> I don't like that. So you've said that you don't want to get married, is that right? I've said, it's never been a goal of mine mm -hmm. to get married. I've never coveted marriage in that way, no. Do you have any people around you that have had like negative experiences? Oh yeah, I mean, my, I came from a family of divorce. I attended four of my parents' weddings before I was 25. It's, it's simple that I think to know that I, it's probably for my upbringing, but I also just, I think if it happens, it would be amazing. I'm not like saying, no, I will never get married, but it's just never been a focus of mine. I'm sure it has to do with the way I was brought up, but I also don't know that many happily married people. Okay. Yeah. Why do you think the divorce rate is so high? Um, I think because people get married for the wrong reasons and they don't talk, couples don't talk. Mm -hmm. And I, I think like I have a sex talk show called Sex with Emily and I always say, communication is a lubrication. Mm -hmm. And I feel like there's all these couples that just don't, they don't discuss their feelings, their hopes, their dreams, their ambitions, what they want, you know, intellectually, sexually, emotionally. And I think that that's why marriages fail. Because if people just, they just stop communicating. It just shuts down and they don't know how to get that train moving again. We're back with Amy from Misadvised. So what are some qualities you would look for in an ideal guy? Kind, thoughtful, pays attention to the small details. That is pretty much at the top of my list. Definitely. So on the other side, what would be a dating deal breaker for you? At this point, would be a guy a lot younger than me. I don't like to stereotype or generalize, but I think it's always wiser to know what you want and focus on that age group. It takes some maturity, too. Exactly. <laughs> so what is the best piece of love advice that you've ever gotten? The best piece of love advice that I've ever gotten is to trust yourself, relax, and enjoy yourself. Don't try to overanalyze too early on, and I know I've done it before, and you know what? The best advice is to relax and have fun.
So thank you so much for coming in. And Absolutely. how can our readers get in touch with you online? Readers can get in touch with me on my website at www. I should say www. <laughs> uh, readers can get in touch with me on the website amylawrent.com or my Twitter, Amy Lawrence Match. Well, thank you so much. And remember to watch Misadvised on Bravo. And keep coming back to HollywoodLife.com for more new style gossip and beauty.